with mikesguitarlessons.com and this is uh, the first video for Grown So Ugly by the Black Keys. Now there's uh, this is actually not too hard of a song. There's just a lot of riffs that are in, in it that I'm going to have to um, uh, make videos for. But um, as far as how difficult they are, it's not that big of a deal. Um, this basic riff that you're hearing, just my volume a little bit, um, this basic riff is just uh, pretty short and you repeat it over and over again in between the lyrics. And uh, if you play it, I'll play it for you real quick without the music going. Let's see what it sounds like. You just play that over and over again. One good thing about these blues riffs is you can take these really easy and put them into your own um, improvising and things like that if you're writing any blues music or just playing around on the guitar. It's really easy to take these sections and pull them out and put them into um, songs of your own or if you're playing along with other blues chord progressions you can add them in there. So uh, all this blues stuff that uh, is out there you can really reuse it in other things. So um, let's go ahead and get started on this one. So uh, the first note that you're going to play, and you can find this note a few different places on the guitar, but to keep it simple here and to keep your hand towards the end of the neck down here, I'm going to play an open on the G string. And you can also play, I meant to, uh, there on the A string, um, fifth fret on the D string if you wanted to. But uh, I want you to stay down here, so we're going to play open on the G. The next note's going to be, uh, second fret on the D string. Okay, so open on the G, second fret on the D string, back to open on the G, back to second fret on the D string. Okay, so okay, and the first open G is a little bit longer if you uh, didn't notice. Okay, now after that, you're going to play open on the D string. Okay, so. Then, you're going to play an open on the E string. Okay, now you can either play just the open. If you want to make it a little heavier sounding, you can take your first finger and play second fret on the A string. Okay, and play them both at the same time. That will give you an E5 or an E power chord. Okay, so it would be like. Okay. After that, then you don't have to be real careful about it. Just take your pick to the skinnier strings, the B and the E string, B and E, and just strum up on them. If you hit the G string, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, the Black Keys are kind of a, they have, they're, all of their studio recordings are kind of rough anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So you're going to play those two strings, just strum up and catch them. So go. Okay. And then stop all the notes. Okay. And you can do that by touching with your right hand with the strings, also grabbing the strings with your left hand and stopping those notes uh, perfectly quiet. Okay. And then right here, sometimes I do a variation. Sometimes I'll, wanna, uh, I'll hit those open strings again. Or I'll just hit my open E, which is what they do. Okay? So if you want to go exactly what they're doing, um, you can do this. And then hit an, uh, another open E. Alright? Uh, and that's the thick E string. And then you're going to play the third fret on the E string and bend that note up. Okay, and then the E5 again, where you've got the open on the E string and the second fret on the A string with your first finger, and play that chord three times. Okay, if I get a little closer, you might be able to see a little better. So, 
Okay, I'm just hitting the E string and the A string there. Okay? So going all the way through the riff, slowly it's going to look like this. Okay? Now like I said, sometimes I like to add an, a variation in there where I hit the E and the B string open one more time right after I did it the first time instead of hitting that low E again. I just like the way it sounds sometimes and to uh, throw a little more dimension in there and not play it the exact same way every time so it sound more like this. Then I hit it again and skip right to the third fret on the E string. Okay, so let me try that again. Now that's the first riff uh, for the song. Uh, the next, you're going to actually repeat that a whole lot, um, and I didn't even count how many times, but you're going to play it a whole lot at the beginning until the very next riff. And then, um, if you're all, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, some of the notes uh, they're just in your second position uh, blues scale. If you minor blues scale, if you uh, know that one already. Um, if you happen to be watching this at mikesguitarlessons.com, go ahead and go to the second video and uh, continue on with the song. And uh, good luck with it. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching.